while Jitin and Matt Derbyshire start together up front for the fifth consecutive match. Derbyshire has North East's only goal so far, while Adrian Luna is pushed up to partner Dimitrios Diamantakos in attack. They've already conceded 10 so far this season. Crystal John gets us underway. It's North East United in the dark strip tonight. It is Kerala in a chain strip of all white, kicking from right to left in the first half. 0-0 when the sides met in Goa last season, 12 months ago. Filipotti bursting through, getting the shooting chance and hitting the bar. Well, they've missed this man in the last couple of games, and it looks as though he's fully fit. Luna's in swing up, headed away once again. Good defending. That by Nishu, who gives the ball away. And a break on here for Jitin for Northeast. It's one against one. Defender streaming back. It's Hormipam, who's the furthest man back. Jitin still going, and Hormipam stuck to his task and wins a goal kick out off the shins of Jitin. Well, it was very unorthodox from Jitin, the way he got himself from that position all the way to the byline. Looked as though he got the ball tangled in his feet just there, but he put on the afterburners, and Hormipam just watched him all the way and managed to get back. Ball across early, but too close to Mirshad. As Crystal John blows the whistle to end the first half. Crystal John is the referee and gets us underway for the second half. Both sides in a change strip tonight, Northeast, despite the fact they're playing at home all in dark blue. And the Kerala Blasters are all in white. And he making that move to the, the Blasters after that, didn't he? That's right. It's just out of the reach of Fulapotu. Shooting chance for Emil Benny, just wide. Positive play for Northeast. Jiten from one wing to the other, and it was a good pass, and it just overran it for Philippa too, which did open up the space. Yeah, not allowed any contact on a match day with the team. Has to travel separately to the stadium as well. Such are the rules. His Surav in behind goes right the way across and turned in from in front of goal. And finally, Kerala Blasters have the breakthrough. Diamantakos, the man in the right place. That's where strikers should be, following in. And he's done just that. And the sea of yellow on the sidelines is finally in good voice. Goal 61, and Kerala lead by a goal to nil. And North East trailing again. Can you remember the longest losing run that you were ever involved in with the club? Well, we'll talk about that in a sec, because here come... The Blasters once again with Adrian Luna. Ball back and driven by Ivan, but wide of the target. And ball in, Gill taking no chances, just pushing that one away for a corner. It was an awkward one when he just had to backtrack a little bit there. It was a, a bit of loft on it. Yeah. We, we've seen the, the North East team at the 80th minute in a few games already this season that were dead and buried. You could tell by the body language. Joseph Zahari, good ball across, it's in red corn! Oh, it hits him and bounces up comfortably for Prebshik and Gill in the end. Joe Zerliana again, a great ball through, Nishu Kumar threw himself at it. And a spell at Bengaluru, made just one game before moving to Kerala. Kerala giving the ball away, Nishu Kumar in a dangerous position, slipped through by Derbyshire, it's a brilliant chance! And there's a real tussle going on inside the penalty area. And it comes to nothing, and it's Emil Benny who can't apply the finish. It was a lovely ball through, and they haven't capitalised, but poor defending. Mommy Palm trying to play out, and Matt Derbyshire did the right thing, playing a gorgeous pass through, and Benny, boy! Well, they draw a little bit of confidence from that going into the final stages. Their last goal, or their only goal, rather, did come in the final minutes, but here's Raul KP, nicely pulled back, so how? Into the bottom corner! And he marks a record-breaking appearance with a goal that surely now gives Kerala Blasters the points. He didn't start tonight, he came off the bench, but hasn't he come off the bench with good effect? Sahal gets the goal, it's 2-0, and North East now seem doomed to another defeat, 2-0. The North East getting caught on that counter-attack, and it's the milestone man, Sahal. But it all started, Gianu releasing Raul Kepi, who had acres of space. And that pass appreciation, and what a gorgeous finish from Sahal. Sahal, he plays about 65 or 70 minutes every game, but you're right, bringing him in now, when this stage of the season, he doesn't usually see this stage of the season, uh, of the game. Good ball forward, Raul KP went for the first shot, Mishak closed him down well though. Just shows the boy is completely on his form, on his game tonight, and that was just good goalkeeping. It's certainly 
a player that uh, could ignite the game. There's Sandic's ball across, goes all the way across, it's Sahal at the back post, and gets his second of the match. Well, super sub is the tag, and Kerala lead by three goals to nil. Mershad's efforts are all in vain, having blocked that one a moment or so ago. But the Manyapada who've made the journey can celebrate another goal from the substitute. Second of the match for Sahal. And really, North East United down and out now. Great goal. Imran Khan just nudged off the ball by Sandip. As Crystal John brings the game to a close. Kerala Blasters are back to winning ways. They'll climb three places in the table.